Harry. Where's oh, your good boy? Come on. Up on the chair, up the thing. Come on. <laughs> He's pissed. Alright, we're gonna be good boy and sit. Affix a pet window cling. Write down the number of pets in your home and any other information firefighters might need and attach it to your front door. This will give them vital information when entering your home. Hi, Todd here from Good Night. And one thing for your pet's safety is to make sure that you extinguish any open flames that are in your house, including stove tops. And if you have a fireplace, that would be a good place to make sure that your pets are safe around and extinguish it when you leave the house because pets like this little jumpy guy uh, can jump up and potentially spread a fire or cause a fire in your home which can put their lives at risk. Don't scratch me. I'll have to kill you. Hey Ellie, are you part of a video? Since pets left alone can't escape a burning home, make sure your smoke detectors are wired to a monitoring center. This gives an added layer of protection beyond battery-operated smoke alarms. Another thing that you can do for your pets is to make sure that you pet-proof your home, especially for fires. There are appliances like your stovetop. Uh, a cat like this one could jump up and accidentally turn on your stove or your oven. So make sure, again, it's just like child-proofing, but pet-proof the home. That way they can't potentially start any fires that will put you and your pet at risk. Practice escape routes with your pet. Keep collars or leashes nearby in case of emergency. That way either you or a firefighter can lead your pet out of the house. It's gonna be kind of hard for you, isn't it? You're not really gonna follow a path that we practice, are you? Yeah, let's let's practice a route, Oski, right now. Well, let's practice a route. Ah! Another thing you can do is keep pets near entrances. Um, this is especially true. We do this for this young pup, and that's because if there ever is a fire, that gives them the best chance to escape, uh, especially something near the ground floor is preferable, just so that if there's an issue, they have an ability to escape, just like you would want to have the ability to escape yourself. And also, make sure to secure any loose wires and keep glass bowls off of your wooden decks, as sun rays can catch the glass bowl and start a fire on your deck. You got a nice shot of Zig there. There he is. Um, is... I just got a face full of hair. I don't know if you caught that. I like pet him and... <laughs> right in the face. 